Okay, take a look at this system of equations on the board. We have x minus y equals 11, 3x plus 10y equals negative 6. Okay, if we're going to solve this system by substitution, the first thing we need to do is to solve one of these equations for a variable. Get one of these variables by itself. We'll take a look. If you look at this equation, the second one, both of these would be at least two steps to get the variable by itself. Whereas if I go to this first equation, if I want to get this x by itself, I can just add one y to both sides of this equation. So if we have x minus y equals 11, and I wanted to get the x by itself, solve the equation for x, we can just add one y to both sides of the equation. And we have x equals, we'll call it 11 plus y. So now, x is the same thing as 11 plus y, which means we can now solve this system by substitution. We can substitute 11 plus y into this equation for x. Since x is the same thing as 11 plus y, we can now say that 3 times the quantity, 11 plus y, and we've substituted 11 plus y in for the x plus 10y equals negative 6. Now, if you think about it, why did we do that? Well, remember, we'll never be able to solve an equation if we have two variables in it, but now we've been able to rewrite the equation and we only have the one variable, y. So we can solve this equation for y. We're gonna use some distributive property. 33 plus 3y plus 10y equals negative 6. We need to combine those like terms. 10y plus 3y gives us 13y. So I have 33 plus 13y equals negative 6. Two-step equation now. We're trying to get the y by itself. Let's get rid of this 33. We'll subtract 33 from both sides. Gives us 13y equals negative 39. And we're going to divide both sides by 13 and that's going to give us a y equals negative 3. So we know that the solution to the system, the y value, is going to be negative 3. So in our ordered pair, we can say the y is negative 3. Now the last step in solving this system is going to be to plug in negative 3 into either equation. It doesn't matter which one we do. Plug in negative 3 for either y and then solve for x. So let's use the first equation. We'll say x minus negative 3 equals 11. Well, x minus negative 3, subtracting a negative number, is the same as adding a positive one. So really, that's saying x plus 3 equals 11. And we're trying to get the x by itself, so we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. And that's going to give us x equals 8. So you know that the solution to the system of equations is going to be 8 negative 3. And the way you can check that is by plugging your solution into both equations. It should make them both true. Very quickly, if we plug in an 8 for the x and a negative 3 for the y, 8 minus negative 3, like we said, subtracting a negative number is the same as adding a positive. 8 plus 3 is 11. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 10 times negative 3, 24 plus negative 30. 24 plus negative 30 is negative 6. So this solution checks on both of those equations. That's how you solve a system by substitution.